You know, it's 4th October, Sunday. We will continue with page number 22, lesson two, roles in energy transfer. Page 22, girls. Please turn to page 22. Everyone, all of you are here with me now? Most of you. Okay. So, all, did you all open your book? Page 22. Before I start my class, you will say me that what all I have discussed in my previous class, we studied about, we finished with ecology and how do you transfer energy? Tell me about the main source. Mr. Bush is lagging. Wait a second. Miss your voice is lagging. Okay, wait a minute. I will connect with the... I can't hear you, your voice is so lagging. How? Now it will be better, okay? Now it will be better. What can you see on the screen? White board. Okay, now is it better, my voice? Yeah. All right. So let us start. Last class, I told you about the main source. What was the main source? Source of energy, main source it is? What is the main source? It is? Sun. Sun is the main source of energy. Energy. And then next, I told you about producers. I told you about producers. All right. What are producers, girls? What are producers? Producers are plants. Producers are plants. So the main source of energy is sun, producers and plants. How about us? How about us? Are we producers? How about us tell me? We are? Because we are consuming producers. We are eating plants. Or we are taking our animals are consuming the producers, so we are called as we are called as consumers. Okay, clear? Yes. Sun is the main source of energy, producers, and then we have consumers. Okay, what are the, what is the other name of plants? They are also called as autotrophs because they make their own food. This we studied. I'm just revising my last class because I'm sure this is not that easy for you. You will forget them. And then what, how is the energy transfer, transport or transferred? Yes, Judy, that day you told me, how is the energy transferred through? It's transferred through food chain. The energy is transferred through food chain. What is the first thing? What is the first thing in food chain? Always it starts with? Producer. Always it starts with? Producer. Sometimes, sometimes it can be, the producers can be, other than plant, it also can be bacteria. It also can be bacteria. And then you can say either animals or us or us. We, we are consumers. And then I told you tigers can eat us or it can eat another animal. I'm sorry. No. Okay. 
So I'm just revising my last class, the main source, producers, the they're also called as autotrophs. Then I told we are consumers, we or animals, all we all come under consumers. Now coming to three things. Again, plant, eating, or meat, or meat, we eat only meat, we eat only meat, or he eat both, both plants and what are the colors? Let me start and ask this. Noor, are you there? Organism, those only eat plants. What are they called as? Organisms, those who only eat plants, they're called as what? Judy? Herbivores. They're called as? Herbivores. Yes, Dana, who eat the meat, they are called as only meat. They eat only animals or they don't eat at all, like tigers. What are they called as? Dana, Dishan. Come on, answer me. Carnivore. Um, you are very quiet. Because yes, yes. class. Carnivore. Yes, tell me, what is it? Carnivore. Carnivore, very good. Carnivores. And how about us? Are we herbivores or carnivores? No, we eat both plants and animals. Majduli. We take both plants and animals. What are we called as? Omnivore. Omnivores. Before this, I cannot continue my lesson, guys. Did you understand all of this, what I wrote here? Yes. Sure. Can I continue with my lesson now? Yep. Oh. Now here, turn to page number 22. And Majdalene, read this page. Organisms change energy. Come on, read this. If Majdulin is not here, anyone else? Dana, read this out. Organisms change energy from the environment or, the, or from their food into other types of energy. Some of this energy is used to the organism, act, or organism activities such as breathing or moving. Some of the energy is saved within the organism to use later. If, the, if an organism is eaten or decomposes, the consumer or decomposer takes in the energy stored in the original or original or organism. Original or organism. Only chemical energy that an organism has stored has stored in its tissues tissues is available to consume yes. to consumers. And the in this way, energy is transferred from organism to organism. Simple girls, like example, I am eating a chicken. The energy in the chicken will transfer it to my body, right? Simple, when I eat food, 
some of my energy is gone in walking or talking or sleeping or breathing or moving, whatever activity I do. But the rest of the energy which is stored in my body, that is transferred when somebody eats me. Or like example, the chicken when it was slaughtered, before that it was working, it was moving. Most of the energy was used and the rest of the energy which was stored will come to me when I eat chicken. So this is how energy transfers. This is what they're saying in this, in this paragraph. Now, what is a food chain? A food chain is the path of energy transfer from producers to consumables. Very important here. You have to know in the food chain, the energy is transferred from producers to consumers. That's why I say in a food chain, you will remember that always I'm talking about from producers, that is from plants, from plants to us or plants to animals. The energy is transferred from producer to consumer. Clear? Understood this? What is the food chain? Is the path. When I say path, you must remember that I'm talking about those arrows. It's the path, it's the path where the energy is transferred from producers, producers to consumers, okay? Energy moves from one organism to the next in one direction. In one direction, when I say food chain, I'm not talking about multiple direction. Simple, the plant is eaten by us. Maybe I am eaten by some tiger. So this is one food chain. The arrow in the food chain represent the transfer of energy as one organism is eaten by another. Arrows represent the full flow of energy from the body of the consumed organism to the body of the consumer of that organism. Of course, <laughs> consuming a producer. So that's why the arrow mark goes this way. Producers from the base of food chain, producers transfer energy to the first primary consumer in the food chain. The next or the second, listen to me. Producers transfer energy to the first, we call these as primary consumers. The first one, like example I told you, I eat plants, I, I, I eat plants. I'm the first, I'm the first person. So I'm called as primary consumer. The next person eats me. He it is called as secondary consumer. Remember, girls, primary and then I have secondary, and then I have tertiary, and then I have more. I have, I will just write here. First I have primary, and then I have secondary, and then I have tertiary. This is the first person to eat the plant. This is the second one, and this is the third one. Okay, did you understand this? Yes. Okay. So, in a food chain, the aroma represents the transfer of energy. Second thing, producers from the base of food chain, they are the starting. Producers transfer energy to the first one, which is called as primary consumer. The next is the secondary consumer. And the final, or not the final, when the tertiary is the last, uh, the tertiary, and if we have more, the decomposers, and finally, usually girls, the person is dead, it is fe it's fed by, it's fed by, not fed, it, it's fed by uh, the decomposers. And then again to the soil, and it, this cycle goes on. Now turn to page number 24. 24 girls. Are we going to write? No, we are not going to write, but I will discuss. Energy flows up the food web. First, let me explain you what is a food web. That day in the class, I, have, I mean that day, last class on Wednesday, on Thursday, I've explained you about food web. When you see here, you will understand more well. Now, girls, here the phytoplankton is the producer. 
What is a phytoplankton? Anyone knows that? What's a phytoplankton? Tell me, girls. I don't know. Is a phytoplankton? Is it an animal or is it a uh, is it a plant? Animal. Anyone else? What is a phytoplankton? No, Miss Miss. Um, plant. It's a plant. Very good. It's a plant. See in the sea, in the ocean, or in the. It's a plant in the oceans. Okay. The name actually phytoplankton come from the Greek word. Now, we have zooplankton. That's an animal. Then. It's zooplankton eats phytoplankton, and then the squid takes zooplankton. And see, the so many people are taking the squid. Zooplankton is taken by eaten by both the sand lions. These are special animals or special type of sea creatures, girls, and the herring. This is a fish, kind of fish. Now, the sand lance is taken by the cod fish, and the cod fish also eats squid. So many things are interconnected. When you see so many arrows, it's nothing but it's called a food web. It is called a food web, girls. A food web is the feeding relationship among organism in an ecosystem. Food webs are made up of many food chains. Food webs are made up of many food chains. Now, girls, can you just simply, uh, girls, can't you just show me the paper on the camera? Don't show me your face. I want you all to draw a food chain now and show me. Can you? Or no, it's not easy for you all. I can. You can. It's okay, don't show me the face. Just show me the paper where you have drawn. But I want to see the food web and food chain. Come on, I'll give you two to three minutes. Okay. I do it. Do it? Like I draw, I draw, I, I draw the ball. Draw a food chain where you show a producer, a plant, and you can, you can make any, any animal or you can write the name of that if you don't know how to draw it or anything, food chain and food web. Oh. Don't show me your face, at least the paper. Please girls, participate in this. Oh, I am. Okay. Oh. Actually, Viral. Yes. Draw a, draw. draw a food chain and show it to me. And girls, even last activity you have not submitted to me. The project. But I thought. A small video with the nutrition label. Or I need the biotic and abiotic factors. Are you drawing it? Yes. Others? Dana, Mastilin, Miral? Yes. I'm Good, Judy. Good. Dana? Should I draw it? The paper. On the paper. Take a paper and draw it and show it to me. Or somewhere in the book, if you have the notes, you have those notes part, draw there. A food chain and show me now. A food chain and a food web. Miss, what eat a rabbit? What? Yeah, miss. Yes. Which, which animal eat eat rabbit? Rabbit? No, lion, tiger, cheetah, all those animals. They're eating flesh, so they can eat rabbit. The wolf, the many of them, they eat. All the carnivores, they just need meat. Okay, who's first to show me here? 
then but i'm going to send it to you because camera no one can open the camera hide your face and show me i know i can but i can't flip the yeah it's like upside down i don't know why really no one can miss i'm going camera Mr. Belcher. Okay, I will check on my WhatsApp no problem. Okay, I send it. <clears throat> Cats, okay, that's a plant. They are taken by rabbit, very good. Rabbit is eaten by dog, and dog is, this is called a food chain. And how about others? Which I'm drawing. Miss, in the quiz we need to draw? No need to the draw. It's like, girls, quiz is only multiple choice. See, uh, you have sent me this, right? Others, come on. Dana, we can't hear you. Yes, Dana, we cannot hear you. It's in the what? Marzuline, what is your food chain? I will take a picture and send it. Hmm? I will take a picture and send it. Okay, okay. Good. Grass, sheep, and human. Okay, this is a food chain again. Did you understand food chain and food web, everyone? Yeah. Especially web is more complicated, this complicated right? one. This complicated. Wait, wait, I did not send it to you. Oh, no, I'm going to send it. Yes? These all are strange names for you. Girls, you know about girls, seagulls and sea, seal. You know about coal, but you don't know about puffin. I think squid, herring, sand lamb. Yes, I sent it in the WhatsApp. Yes, I got it. I got it, Dana. Good dear, Dana. Grass, grasshopper. It's a big one. It's a big food chain. Grass, grasshopper, frog, snake, and eagle. Good, Dana. Miran. Noor, welcome Noor. <laughs> you just joined. We did not do much, don't worry. We were just doing about food. <sighs> why are you late? Yes, uh, Noor, why are you late? Uh, miss, I, it didn't let me join. I don't know why. Ooh, really? Good. Yeah. If something like that happens, you need to uh, you know, log in once again. Log in once. I did that. Okay, it's okay. No, sometimes because of the connection, it is happening. We did not do much. We just start, just I explained them about the herbivores, the carnivores again, and we finished with food chain and food web. And you know already about all these. I'm sure. I told them that's phytoplankton. Do you see here phytoplankton? This is a sea a sea plant which is take eaten by zooplankton, and then they, the, there are two animals that are two live creatures in the sea that eats zooplankton. And all these are interconnected and this is nothing but a food web. And then I told them to draw a food chain and send it to me on the WhatsApp. Okay? Yeah. What we did, yeah. nothing much. Judy, I'm waiting for you. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, this was 